Hey everybody, welcome to Signal 65. We're here with a video insight sitting with my friend, Tom Butler, who is the Vice President of Commercial Product and Portfolio Strategy at Lenovo. Tom, thanks for joining us again. Thanks, Ryan, glad to be here. Um, so we're gonna talk a little bit today about uh, an, 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 a new AMD Ryzen AI powered ThinkPad T14S Gen 6. Uh, for, for people who, who haven't seen the report yet, we published a report focused on that product on Signal65.com. We dive into the, the features and the performance and the capabilities uh, and really kind of analyzing that system from the ground up. Uh, so if you haven't seen that yet, it's definitely go to the uh, Signal65.com and check that out. So you'll have a little bit more context for, uh, for what we're going to talk about today. Um, so, t Tom, you know, you, you sit in a really interesting spot at Lenovo where you get to oversee everything commercial uh, across the products and portfolio. And it's got to be incredibly interesting to, to view what the, the, the future looks like, right, from, from a unique lens of seeing all these partners that you get to work with uh, and then all the customers and clients that are utilizing your devices. I, I'm curious from a, a perspective of the enterprise, what has the discussion around the benefits of AI PC been? The timelines, you know, is it is it something that your customers are seeing advantages of from today and they can very clearly see what the future will bring for this kind of on-device local AI compute? Yeah, so it's, it's quite interesting. I mean, as you said, I, I have a very exciting seat in the house because I'm able to engage with large global customers, Fortune 500s around the, around the world, really, as I travel quite a bit. And the conversation's really pivoted. If I, if I go back, if you really think about the event of chat GPT dropping in 2022, and then that sort of started the wave, the awareness of everyone of what potential the AI could bring, the first, I'd say, six to nine months conversation was really around security privacy, really cons high concern around how do I secure my data? What do I do with my data? What kind of insights I can drive? And it's now pivoted to how do I demonstrate return on investment or demonstrate quick ROI? So our, as our, the companies, the enterprises I work with are now looking at, okay, we've moved into the AI PC era. The devices you're bringing to, to us for consideration are AI empowered. Now, how can I demonstrate, how can I demonstrate, you know, what use cases, what outcomes that I can drive to my user, uh, my the users that I deploy to. So that's really yeah. how this has changed. It, it, it's it's incredibly interesting, and and I think you know the given the competitive nature of the entire commercial market and, and landscape, um, you know Lenovo has the ability to differentiate its offerings across you know di different systems and configurations and, and different product lines, um, like the ThinkPad T14s. Gen 6, you know, how, how does that system in particular, that class of system kind of uh, help you uh, compete in that market or help you position in a different way in those enterprises? Yeah, so the, the, T, the T14S Gen 6, it's a mouthful, I acknowledge, but it's sixth generation of our T14S platform. Our T-Series is our, is our highest volume platform we have in the portfolio. So when we look at major impact that we can bring into market, that that's where we can get the most uh, reach and the most, of course, the most impact overall market. So we use that platform, that T14S, uh, slim and light, 14 inch, sweet spot of the of the market to leverage as to harness new technologies, new experiences. And so that's really why we select that platform first of all. And then you know the the impact we can drive with. Our, most of our customers will adopt that platform uh, if they adopt a variety of platforms, they'll right. have that in their range. So it gives them the opportunity to bring in and test to trial, as I said, try to working towards demonstrating return on investment with, uh, with a platform like this. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's interesting, right? So the, the the version we tested had the AMD Ryzen AI uh, Pro processor in it. it this, this generation of the T14S then showed kind of notable improvements in performance, particularly in multi-threaded performance, which leads us to, you know, heavy multitasking capabilities uh, as well. It also had some of the best battery life we've ever seen in an AMD laptop uh, to date. So, you know, as we think through those types of improvements, you know, how are they 
uh, aligned with kind of those evolving needs of those enterprises, you know, thinking about AI or just thinking about the future of, of applications in general? Well, you hit, you hit on the two prongs that matter most, performance and battery life. So we've seen significant step up in both. And what we're seeing with the AI workloads that are now starting to be to come into either trial or even deployment on these platforms, they're more taxing. So you need that performance, you need that headroom, um, both in terms of the multi-threaded performance, also the presence of a higher uh, capable a neural processing unit as that third engine on devices on these AI PCs. So that it brings a performance level that's needed and then pair that with the efficiency because you're looking at a highly mobile environment. You know, as we're, we're working, we're not working just sing, you know, sitting at a desk all day. We're moving about whether, whether it's moving in from meeting to meeting or traveling from site to site. So we need that the ability to have that, uh, that, fantastic battery life as well. And so this this platform really delivers on both fronts. L Lenovo has been probably, um, I, I think, the longest collaboration with AMD in terms of commercial laptops. Um, so I'm, I'm curious with that kind of long tenure uh, of partnership, can you discuss a little bit about, you know, how that either influences your product design? How does that influence kind of the options that you're taking to market? Uh, and, and how does that kind of like co-engineering effort uh, uh, working with AMD as well? Yeah, so yeah, if we're not the longest, we're one of the very longest uh, yeah. on the commercial side. But we've had a long tenure with uh, working with the the AMD team, and part of that is as we engage in partnerships, we really strive to have a a, a partnership where we can co-engineer, co-develop, co-design, and so that's the relationship we have with AMD. So they use our platforms as reference designs, and it, it allows us to work very closely on both sides of the, of the engineering front, trial, troubleshoot, but also design and optimize these platforms. So when we come to market, we've got what we believe is one of the best, if not the best optimized platform to deliver that performance as well as the battery life, hand in hand. And that's really a testimony of the long, uh, the multi-year partnership that we've had with AMD. And we've continued to drive very strong success with them. In fact, I think arguably we're the most successful partner we, uh, that AMD has in market. And, and, and what does that do for Lenovo in terms of just kind of being able to offer that 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 uh, breadth of options uh, out to potential customers? Yeah, that's really it. That, that touches on the, you know, the key point. Customers are looking for choice. They're looking for a variety of dif different configurations, a, a variety of different choices, a variety of different engines. Uh, in this case, offering that AMD platform gives those uh, gives our customers that breadth of choice. We have some that are you know, they'll use different platforms across different types of use cases. Uh, and it allows them to really have a, a specific a product for specific needs. Makes sense. And I see that as a, as a big benefit to having kind of the, the, the scale of portfolio that you've built over there uh, in Lenovo and at the ThinkPad brand too. The other thing I want to ask about is kind of how you view uh, the, the future of the AI PC landscape, um, you know, in particular, you know, how it's using AMD processors or not, or how just, just generally speaking, the, the Lenovo vision for AI compute on these devices, right? We, we've talked about it uh, being a, a critical third component to the, the SOC, the third primary compute device. But what, what's Lenovo's vision for how you utilize that and really kind of plan to bring those beneficial user experiences, not just hardware specs, to the consumer? Yeah, so we've moved arguably into the AIPC era. We're moving quickly beyond just a large language model presence to an agentic model. And, and I see a, most of the customers I engage with are now talking about bringing smaller models in place that are relevant to the outcomes that the individual worker is trying to accomplish. So an HR practice versus a marketing practice versus a product management practice, as an example. So embedding smaller models and, and, and agents that could go accomplish tasks for us is really this next wave as we look at sort of the, the future of, of AI AI enabled PCs and in this market. I'm really interested to see kind of what the future of the software ecosystem looks like. Will I will I be purchasing ThinkPad systems based more on my persona as a buyer 
as opposed to anything else related to the hardware specifics, knowing that a, a lot of that is kind of accounted for in the computing environments that that partners like AMD really provide. I think it's the next five years from your position, from your vantage point, I think are going to be incredibly exciting uh, to watch. It, it, it's it, unbelievable. Yeah, you, we cannot imagine, in fact, how fast and quickly it's it's happening. And the thing I love about the experience is the hardware now is there. The baseline is there. The software, the iteration, the rapid evolution of the software is what's coming super, super quickly on these devices. But we've got these hardware capabilities now in place, ready to catch and support the the, the new user experiences that are being evolved. It's incredibly interesting. Um, we're, we're just getting started at the beginning of this. I feel like I've said that for the last 12 months, but we've made so much progress, um, but you can still see how big this opportunity is going to be for, for AI on the PC and local compute. If you guys want to find um, more of our opinions and views on this, we have our full analysis of the Lenovo ThinkPad T14S Gen 6, uh, the one using the AMD Ryzen AI platform over on Signal65.com. Just go to the research tab and you'll find the report. Uh, right there. Tom, really appreciate you taking the time to sit and talk with us and kind of walk through your vision and strategy and talk about this particular machine. It's always a pleasure, Ryan. Thanks so much. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.